So welcome back all, this is Daz from Mud Road Technique. So obviously a bit of a hiatus on the channel due to some annual leave and the like. So obviously I trust everyone had a Merry Christmas and a great New Year. So up this week we're going to look at doing a video on a automated lighthouse. So I've looked at doing using some LEDs and an Arduino Uno to simulate the light in a lighthouse. So the lighthouse I've recently built is by Seaport Model Works out of Maine in the United States. Um, it's a, obviously a craftsman kit and sort of fits in nicely for my theme and what I'm trying to achieve in my harbour area. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what I've got here, I've got uh, Tinkercad. So it's a free CADware program. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to make a little mount that the, the LEDs are sitting in. So currently I'm using warm white three mil um, LEDs. So it's got to fit in the little lighthouse light um, office type area. So what we're looking at doing is you, I won't go through because I'm not all that au fait with Tinkercad at this point in time. I'm still having a bit of a play with it. So we've pretty well got three types of cylinders or we've got eight cylinders here. So each one of these where the LED sits is a cylinder which, which makes a hole all the way through. You've got the main cylinder and then you've got the cylinder to hole out the uh, sort of the, the main body of, of, of the LED mount there. So these are three and a half mil radius all of these just a little bit we'll see how they go i might have to reprint it was i've just it's printing as we speak this little guy here is about two centimeters across and then the height of it is about a bit under a centimeter so we'll have we'll sent that to the printer we'll see how that goes and see if it uh, does what i need it to do pcb way offers a variety of services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing cnc machining sheet fabrication and injection molding in a variety of materials if you do not have the correct tools for the job you can quickly upload your gerber file for a pcb and press enter and get a quote in no time at all this makes pcb way a good option for your projects now have a quick look at the code now i won't go right into it i did Develop this on ChatGPT. Just put in my source question that I wanted to do, and I've just played around with it since then. So this, we'll just quickly go through what the code is. So this is where you, the first part of the code up here is the integers. So you define the LEDs. So six LEDs on pins nine, ten, six, five, three, and eleven. It's just the way it's worked out. I haven't changed that around. You probably could do them sequentially. Um, but just be mindful you need to use the PWM capable pins of the Arduino Uno. So the next thing we're going to look at is the setup function, whether all the LEDs, or the LED pins, I should say, that we just talked about before, uh, start them in an off position. So that's how we do that with that particular part of the code. Now, my understanding why that would be the case is you start in the off position, then each time you turn it on, it's going to sequ sequentially go through where you know which, which LED it's going to start in. It's always going to start back at pin number nine, which is what I'm gonna call LED number one. All right, so the next section we're here, we're gonna look at the fading effect. So so now the loop function is where, where basically the magic's gonna happen. So each LED smoothly fades in and stays on at full brightness for a short amount of time. And that can be fade delay and fade hold time. So that's where you play with it up the top here in lines nine and 10. So currently I've got half a second and 20 milliseconds for the fade down on mine. I, I've yet to have a good play around with it. Probably best to do that whilst it's in position where the lighthouse is going to be to get your best effect. So for it, obviously then it stays at full brightness for a short amount of time, then fades out. So that's a very, very brief overview. Now, if anyone wants this code, I can send it to them. So just reach out and I can email it to you. Now, as I said, this is an AI produced code um, that I put in the particular prompt. If you would like to play with that yourself, let me know and I can send you what, what, what the prompt is as well. So <laughs> resulting what we get here, we get a smooth, what I believe a reasonably smooth rotating light effect, um, which I'm trying to get to look like a real light. So this is what we've got the end product here. We've got the Uno down here. We've got all the, the six cables that are coming out that go to the, each of the one LEDs. So initially I looked at 
doing just a few LEDs, maybe four, but I think the, the six, I think it's just going to look a little bit, a little bit better. It's a little bit more work um, in the back end regarding it to fit into the, the observation platform where the, the, the light of the lighthouse sits, but I think it's going to look much nicer. Now, I'm not all that totally happy with the way that the cycling of the LEDs at this point in time. Um, as explained, we can play around with the timing of it. So, as I said, we can play around with the timing of how they're cycling around. Now, I also need to play around with the, the fade and that a little bit as well, but that'll come in due course once I get it out onto the layout and I'm going to see what it looks like once it's in the, the, nat, the, the light that it's going to be uh, displayed in. Also, the camera doesn't sort of really give it justice how much that is actually dimming down. Let's just try going down the lights, the GDA lights a little bit more. That shows it just a little bit better. But as I said, I still need to play around a little bit more with the dimming of it. All right, so there's the, the finished product. So um, I think I still need some diffusion in, in the lamps here. So what I might look at doing is putting some baker's paper or something similar just to take that, take a little bit of transparency, opaqueness away. So you can see how the, the LEDs are sort of floating around. Um, if I probably had more room there or using smaller LEDs, I'd probably double the amount of LEDs, but yeah. At what point do you say uh, good enough is good enough? So yeah, but just be interested in any comments below what you think um, is a good idea um, or what other ideas you've come up with, how you've done your life. So just quickly, obviously we've got the, the Uno over here doing all the hard yards, all the different LEDs plugged into the the, the output pins that we talked about before and the, uh, the ground here at the front. Just have a quick look at this lovely model by Seaport Model Works from Maine. It's a, a lovely craftsman kit. Took a little while to put it together. Um, obviously there's a lot going on there regarding the roof line and the, and the veranda and the like, but um, fun model uh, to put together, that's for sure. So that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Um, big shout out to my Patreons and people that have bought me a coffee over time. So every little bit counts. So please consider if you if you want more content like this um, to help me out with the ongoing costs of running a YouTube uh, channel such as this. So that's it. Um, now we've created, as I said, the lighthouse effect using the Arduino. If you found this useful, give this video a like. Please comment below if you've got any questions or any ways I can make this better. And also subs consider subscribing uh, for my other Arduino type videos. I've got some more in the background regarding um, some 3D filament printing that I'm going to get into as well. Um, some buildings in which I'm, I'm going to put some electronics. I'm going to bring those two parts of the hobby together. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.